introduction. Hello. My name is Olivia Rose. I'm old enough. <laughs> um, I'm a model, producer, fetishist, kinkster, pro-dame, do a wide variety of things. Um, I have been a clip creator and fetish model and sex worker for 12 years now. Um, I'm a Virgo. Um, favorite things too. Well, I have quite a few favorite things to do. So let's see, theater, acting, um, making clip art, modeling, going to concerts, working out, uh, traveling, going to Burning Man. I don't know, I have way too many to list. Dancing. Um, let's see, favorite outfit in my closet? Uh, I have more than one favorite outfit. I'm gonna say that it's my latex collection that I like the most, and that definitely shows off my fiction figure. <laughs> When did you first decide to become a model, actress, video performer? Um, let's see here. I first decided to become a model, um, and that's kind of how I started in this in 2007. I met some people in San Diego at a dungeon, and I was already interested in BDSM, and one of the girls was a fetish model and said, did you know you can actually make money doing this? And I was like, oh my God, really? So um, she gave me a bunch of contacts of hers and people to work with, and I just kind of went from there. What do you like most about being a model, actress, and video performer? Hmm, what do I like most about being a model, actress, and video performer? Well, I would say connecting with people. Um, I get to connect with a wide range of fans and fulfill custom fantasies. And that's kind of what I'm known for is fulfilling custom fantasies. So I think that's the my favorite thing about it. What is the best experience that you have ever had while at work? Well, let's see. Um. I don't know, just being able to take these scripts and act them out and um, make videos my own would probably be the best experiences that I have had at work. Uh, so that's pretty much every day. I mean, I can't really pinpoint one specific thing that is like the absolute best, um, but I really enjoy it, that's for sure. What is the worst experience you've ever had while at work? The worst experience I've ever had at work was probably while well, camming. That's only because you get trolls in your room that want to bother you or um, people that are rude or... But I can't really pinpoint one thing because I don't like focusing and um, staying on negative uh, paths. So I just brush it off comes with the territory, right? I know I'm awesome and that's all that matters. What is your favorite professional athlete and why? If you don't have one, which pro athlete do you think is the attractive? Oh, that's hard. I don't even know athletes' names. <laughs> I'm not really a sports person, but I can tell you which sport I enjoy watching the most. Um, Ever since I was a kid, I've always enjoyed watching hockey games, going to live hockey games. I think it's just because I enjoy grown men brawling and fighting. <laughs> I'm there for the blood. So, plus, you know, my hometown now has a really cool hockey game and hockey team. So, yay, Golden Knights. What is your favorite actor and why? Hmm, favorite actor. God, that's hard. Um, I'm not huge on celebrity worship. 
uh, because I feel that celebrities are just like you and me. Um, but I do enjoy the talent that people bring. Uh, I'm gonna go really old school here and say like Sean Connery. Um, he's just, you know, that dreamy silver fox, I guess. So, there we go. <laughs> Who is your favorite actress and why? My favorite actress is Felicia Day. Um, I've always enjoyed watching her in her various roles. Uh, I mean, ever since she appeared on web series and in cosplay and um, let's see here, she's been in Buffy and like Supernatural and all these other shows. I don't know, I always watch her. Um, she's one of those feisty redheads who just made stuff happen for herself. What is your favorite singer, musical artist, and why? That's really hard. Um, my favorite musical artist... I wouldn't say necessarily it's a musical artist, but a band. I'm more of a band person than a solo artist person. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Tool. I've always enjoyed Tool's albums. I mean, you never know if we'll actually get another album. They say they're gonna release one this year, but we'll see. So, uh, and kind of Maynard James Keenan is kind of this mythical unicorn. Uh, <laughs> I like all of his bands, honestly. If you could be a superheroine, or when it comes to cosplay, if you were to dress up as a comic book character, who would be, who would you dress up as? Hmm, well, I look great in a black cat suit. So, I'm gonna have to go with Black Widow. I've actually cosplayed her before for photo projects. Uh, I've always enjoyed being like that villainous, uh, anti-hero character, um, because it's so far apart from what I actually am. We are living in a Time's Up Me Too movement era right now where women are feeling free and embodied to speak about and against harassment in the workplace and sexual improperties in general by men and towards women. Please give us, please give us your take on this monument by those who support and endorse this movement that is occurring. If by any chance the Time's Up or Me Too movement is not something you endorse, then feel free to speak on it from your vantage point if you choose. Well, since we are living in a Me Too movement, um, I think it's really good. Honestly, a lot of this stuff has needed to become, you know, out in the open for quite a while. Um, and I think if women and some men, if we all band together and put our foot down about those improprieties, then something will actually happen. So I think we're on a forward trajectory and the right path for, you know, saying, you know, this is not okay. It is not okay to worry about mundane things like walking to your car. It is not okay um, to continue to worry about, you know, whether you're going to get groped at work. It is, it's not okay to worry about some crazy casting couch and, you know, having to, to do things you're not comfortable with just to get ahead. So I'm for it. What type of projects have you been doing since of late? How much fun have you been having on your projects? I've been doing quite a few projects, uh, mostly custom videos. I think the most fun I've had recently was getting a 1960s Western Electric telephone to use in a clip. Um, basically, all I had to do is make phone calls. So it's almost like I was pranking my friends. And since I'm really silly, um, it was really right up my alley. Uh, another thing that I've been really enjoying doing as far as projects go are um, my assassin series um, where I wear a black cat suit and kill people. Uh, that really speaks to my theatrics and um, my mercilessness. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the fun projects I've been doing as of late. What new gigs or projects are in the works for you? 
What great things can we expect from you in the near or distant future career-wise? Um, what new things can you expect? Probably just, you know, me honing my skills as a custom clip maker. Um, I've been doing more phone, like phone calls and like advice as far as BDSM topics um, and kinksters and fetishists. Uh, I've been within the BDSM lifestyle for well over 10 years now. Um, and I think it's really important for people to have an outlet to fulfill their fantasies as long as everything is safe, sane, and consensual. Um, so I'll be working more like within the bondage realm and also be, you know, just talking to people more about what their fantasies are and helping them fulfill those in a safe, non-judgmental environment. What are your short-term and long-term goals in your industry? Uh, short-term goals in my industry would have to be just, you know, uh, getting further ahead in my uh, in my clip sales, um, just honing my skills more. Long-term goals, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing now, and I think that um, I already have 12 years in, so I don't see me changing my pace up or switching things up anytime soon. Of course, if I get tired of something, I just stop doing it and do something else because, well, I don't have a really high failure rate. <laughs> if you could go back in time 10, 15, 25 years ago, knowing what you know now, what advice would you give your younger self? Um, if I could go back and give myself some advice, it would probably be that nothing is in life is ever going to go as planned. Um, to take it a day at a time and to just do the best you can because uh, that's all we have. We have today. We don't know what tomorrow is going to ha happen. We don't, we don't even know if tomorrow is going to happen. So by centering yourself and staying in the now, I think you have a better disposition and a cheerier outlook on life. Your thank you message. Basically, you're saying who you are, model name, goodbye, and thanks for listening, and plug your social media, website, etc. My name is Olivia Rose, uh, and you are watching Wanna Be TV. Um, if you want to look me up, I am on Twitter at Olivia Rose XXX, Instagram, Olivia Rose XXX. Uh, my website is theoliviarose.com. Uh, that's where you can get a hold of me if you want a fetish custom video or a pro dom session or any number of things. Uh, and it shows all my links to all of the sites that I'm on. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm Olivia Rose and this is Wannabe TV.